Hello viewers, another experiment with dry ice and it's going to be very fascinating. Khatija, my colleague is going to help me in this experiment. What we have here is a measuring cylinder of one liter capacity containing some water in this. And in this, we are going to introduce a few ml of washing fluid or liquid or you can use a detergent or you can even use a shampoo. Any shampoo can do. So I'm going to open this and introduce a little of this. Give it a little shake to mix it up. And ask Khatija to take this tong very nice one. Pick up a few pieces of dry ice and introduce and let us see what happens. Something very interesting is going to happen. Isn't that interesting? The moment we add dry ice, suddenly the water starts bubbling and foaming up and a lot of copious amount of foam is coming out. You would think that the water is boiling over here. But if you were to touch it, you will find it to be ice cold. Why does this happen? Very simple reason is, dry ice has the capacity to sublimate, that means to convert directly from this solid form into a gaseous form. That means solid carbon dioxide is turning to gaseous carbon dioxide. And that is the reason why you are seeing, it appears that the water is boiling, but really what is happening is only gas is being liberated. Because we have added some soap, it gives you this appearance of bubbles. Bubbles are produced. This is a simple explanation and sublimation is a very important thing for us to understand. Sublimation is a process, let me tell you once again, in which a solid goes directly from the solid state to the gaseous state or vapor state without melting. Incidentally, you must be wondering what is this white, white substance over here? This is actually the moisture in the air which has condensed to form ice on the beaker. The reason being water ice, that is ice from water, is zero degrees centigrade, whereas the temperature inside of dry ice is minus 80 degrees centigrade due to which the water has condensed. Thank, Thank you. you.